About 100 people marked this Independence Day by demonstrating outside the Immigration and Customs Enforcement Detention Center in Aurora. They want to abolish the agency known as ICE. CBS 4's Rick Salinger was at the protest, and Rick, some people brought guns. Well, this was a separate group, Kathy, that was dressed in red. They had on Kevlar vests and carried firearms. I checked their website, and it said they're anti-capitalist and pro-immigrant rights. Armed guards openly carrying rifles watched over the rally. These are members of what's called the John Brown Gun Club, or Redneck Revolt, an anti-white supremacist group. They sympathize with the demonstrators. They chanted, abolish ICE. This protest also called for the reunification of parents separated from their children. Scott Dewey and his wife want to be reunited with their informally adopted Romanian son. They posted a sign, justice for Krejci. He was deported two years ago on this day. Simply on this suspicion, unfounded suspicion, his visa was denied and he will likely never be able to receive another visa because he has a deportation on his record. It's, it's really been devastating. Um, he's an adopted son. He's been through a lot of trauma in his life. He has three older siblings who live here and have really incorporated him. We asked if we could reach him. He's now living in England. By video phone, he told us what he went through was a bad experience. His deportation was during the Obama administration. And his family says there's little hope of getting him back now. And there's just so much division, so much hatred toward immigrants. The 4th of July, observed in a very non-traditional way here. Of course, President Trump has signed an order to end the separation of children and parents. But still, many children remain apart from those parents. Live in Aurora, Rick Salinger, covering Colorado First. Thank you, Rick.